A group of around 15 to 20 experts in areas such as disease control, virology and vaccine developments gather from all around the world and look at the science and the spread of the disease, in this case Zika. They'll advise the Director General of the WHO whether this is just a concern for a particular country or region or whether it has significant implications for other parts of the world, making it a possible global emergency. The last time an international public health emergency was declared was during the Ebola outbreak. The WHO was criticised for being too slow to raise the alarm, but when it did, a huge international response got underway. Countries sent in medics, scientists and even the military. Zika is very different to Ebola though, so the response is also likely to differ. Remember, Zika itself isn't considered particularly harmful to most people. It's this link to babies being born with small heads that's causing concern. It's impossible to predict what advice the experts will come up with, but they can make temporary recommendations, such as advise on travel to affected countries, on surveillance, so how to find new infections quickly, and how best to treat people. The WHO can also help fast-track the development of vaccines and cures. There are none available at the moment. The recommendations could also be about avoiding panic and advising against countries taking inappropriate and unnecessary measures.